We're here Hello. on day three. Um, the marathon's going on, so we've got to uh, divide up, separate for a little while, but I definitely believe we're all going to keep it going strong. It's got to be closed in tomorrow. I think it's between four and four, like some 12 hours during the marathon, so they're setting up and uh, sort of fencing in this area. They're going to be covering that with uh, some sort of black plastic. Uh, we've got one exit here, one bathroom. Aside from that, uh, people should still come down and check it out before uh, things start getting penned in completely without any exit or, or uh, entry. We've got a kitchen. We've got our own medical station. We've got information and safety station. I mean, we came together and we organized all of this. Welcome to the library. This is a community space where people can come to learn, to share, to connect. Um, we offer events. Um, as you can see here, there's a whole list of events. Uh, they happen every half an hour. This is my first uh, time I've ever gone to a protest. I do like the, the way the General Assemblies are, are working. I do plan on becoming more involved in it. This is, like I say, this is the first time that I've felt a real uh, draw to a protest. So I'm a protest virgin. This is the kitchen and sanitation station. Also, where the recycling and uh, waste area as well. We cooked a bunch of grits and uh, oatmeal and we brought it by bicycle. <laughs> we had um, four pots. We also had some scrambled tofu. Thank you. So what's happening is Food Not Bombs is um, cooking food. There's individuals who are tapping into our resources of food that's been donated to us and taking it back to their own home, bringing it back here, warm cooked meals, you know, ready for the mass. I've, I've covered a lot of uh, activities in Portland here, and it's, it's nothing I've seen before. I think uh, the main difference is, is the variety of people and the variety of voices, and yet having so many different individual directions and having such strong unity. That's, that's how I think it's different. I think it's real awesome that Portland has probably the largest uh, turnout so far that I've seen across the country is what I've read in the newspapers. And uh, I just wonder how much national attention this is going to get. We have a young daughter and we want her to be aware of young people standing up for what they believe in, just as we saw on TV in Egypt. And we're very proud of you guys as young people standing up for it. And as it grows, hopefully more middle class gets out here also. But we want her to be aware of what you guys are doing. I think it's really cool that people are getting together for what they actually believe in, not just in Portland, but also like in Seattle and other places. It's real interesting to me. Uh, I think they have purposefully uh, not defined specific demands, but they're more stating their grievances. So there's uh, um, a diversity, and I think that this creative space represents um, the group as a whole. Some of the amazing positive things I'm seeing coming out of it is the practice of democracy. I just came from the general meeting. And uh, although it can seem like it's working slowly because they let everybody be heard, they do let everybody be heard. And the neat thing about it is is that it is going to send a message to the people in government that, you know, get off their butts, start talking to each other, and quit this logjam of political uh, game and chip. Your vote really doesn't count anymore. We have, this is how we vote now. This is true democracy. What more evidence do you need that... It's happening. The revolution is happening. We, we don't need the government to organize us. We, we can do it ourselves. I think it's very important that we all come together. Right on.